Hi guys, it's the Power BI Guy here and welcome to the Beginners to Pro DAC series. In this lesson, we're going to go over counting functions. So these include count, count rows, distinct count and count blank. Now, essentially counting functions are very, very common. So it's quite important we understand the difference between these and how they work. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start this lesson. So what are counting functions? Essentially what counts do, whether that's count rows or count, is that it will find out the number of times that um, a row appears and that the values, if each row has a value. Count essentially works at a column level. So when you do a count by itself, that will be counting the number of cells in a, in a column that have a value and are not blank. So let's actually give an example of this. So if we take a look at this table that I have here, we have six rows. We have six rows. Now, if we did a count, this is going to go through every row and say, okay, this has got a value one, this has got a value one, this has got a value one, but this doesn't have a value, so count is going to ignore that. Count is going to say we have five values and not six because count ignores blanks. And what it's doing is just counting the number of rows in a column that contain a value. So let's go ahead and write our first count measure and visualize this. So what we're going to do is let me just create a new measure. Let's create a new measure. And I'm going to call this count cells. And if we do count, and you can see that it states that you have to refer to a column because count is counting the values in a column, not at a table level. So we're going to call this, we're going to use the cells and then I need to find that column, which was cells. And then our value should be five. So if we check count and do count cells, we have five cells because count looked at the, the column level and it went through this column as a value equals one. This value has one, one, this value, this column, this, this row has a value and this row does not have a value. So that's blank and then et cetera, et cetera. So count is not doing aggregation. It's just counting the number of rows that have a value and are not blank within a column. So that's how counts work. So how does this differ to a count rows? Count rows counts the number of rows in a table. And you can specify conditions to say count rows if product equals toys, but that's a later video. Count rows essentially will just count all the rows in a table, even if it has a blank. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. So we expect this to say six because we have six rows and we're asking count rows to count the number of rows in a table. So once again, I'm going to create a new measure, which is going to be count rows. So how do we do this? I'm going to call this count rows cells. And what we do is if you write count rows and then specify your table. So I'm going to specify uh, the counting table that I've made. If we put this into there, um, where have I put that count rows cells? And now, as you can see, we have six rows. So count, count rows will essentially count the number of rows in a table. Now, Let's say you had an order table that had the total number of orders. It had every row was a different order. Now, if you wanted to find out the total amount of orders, you could use count rows because it would give you the value of the total amount of rows. However, if you wanted to find out how many unique orders did we get, because one individual might be able to make multiple orders, this is when you would use a distinct count because distinct count was finding the unique values um, within a row, uh, so within a column. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, let's do a distinct count of, uh, let me open up the table. So we want to do a distinct count of uh, the order ID column. So we want to see the amount of orders, the unique orders that we have. And just looking at this, what we can see is we have four and then we have two duplicates. So essentially we should find out we have four unique order IDs. So once again, let's do a distinct count. So I'm going to create a new measure, I'm going to create a new measure and call this distinct orders. So unique orders, or let's call it unique orders. And what we want to do here is write distinct count, distinct, distinct count. And if we specify the column, the distinct count order ID, and over here we should get four. And now if I place that into there, we can see we have four unique orders. Now, what does count blank do? Count blank is 
pretty self-explanatory. It's counting the number of blank items or blank cells in a column. So if we take a look at our example, if we click our cells counter table, we can see if we use the example of the cells column, we have one blank value. So we want to count blank. We want to see the amount of blank values we have in our column. So once again, I'm going to create a new measure and let me make sure I know where I put it this time because I have multiple tables. So, okay, let's do new measure and then we're going to call this blank values, blank cells. And then we're going to call this count blank and then reference our column once again. So this is going to be cells and we expect this value to be one blank cells. Let's enter that into there and as we can see, we have one. So we can see that we had one blank value and that has returned. So just to recap, count will find out the number of values, the number of rows in a column that have values and that are not blank. So it'll find out the total number of rows that have values in within a single column. Count rows is at a table level, so it's going to count the number of rows in a table, including blanks. And count blank will count the number of blank items within a column. And distinct count, now that is when you want to find out the number of unique items within a column. So the, main, the ones that you find yourself frequently using, I've not really seen many scenarios where I'm using count blank, but count count rows and distinct count are very frequent. Definitely count rows and distinct count. So without further ado, I hope that sort of under helps you understand how, what the different counting functions are. And I've, I've left out some others, but these are the more frequent ones that you will be using. And for now, this should do the job. So it's the Power BI guy and I'm checking out.